moms are coming to you from your favorite neighborhood, Milk Estates, where we're really having fun watching all these MLB players and their nice uh, pants. <laughs> we will get into that in a little later. All right. So you can listen to us on Apple or Spotify, and you can always Google us to Google us at irrationalmoms.com. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a fan question. We, we love answering your guys' questions, which we do have a fan question coming up. Uh, we also have a really uh, interesting irrational mom topic, which I think it spans male and female. And it covers one of our favorite things about like, you know, when you're on a plane, do you really need to have a conversation with a person you're sitting next to? <laughs> <laughs> and um, of course we have Tris and her like amazing snacks. <laughs> um, and then we also like going back, we do want to talk about these MLB players and their uh, sheer pants where you can, uh, you know, see it all. See it all. <laughs> I might become an MLB like Finally, fan. she's going to be cheer when we go to the games because. <laughs> Wait, can you bend over? Uh, you know? <laughs> Pick yep. that ball up. She's going to go to the rain games specifically. <laughs> so um, before we start, I want to talk to you guys about my. Yes. <laughs> my New York trip. So let me start by saying we had a layover in Dallas and in Dallas, they have this Amex lounge, which we always like, you know, if we're going to have a layover, we'll go to the Amex lounges and they're kind of, not, they're kind of a little bit on the bougie side sometimes, but they have like free, have you been in them? I don't know. Like they have free food. I've been in a couple other lounges Whoa. Yeah. and sometimes they're nice. Sometimes okay. the, it's like just a buffet and people are breathing on the food and I'm like, no. Yeah. Yeah, well, then they free have food. Food. <laughs> exactly right and sometimes <laughs> the food's not bad and then they have you know the bar and it's kind of like you get a free drink um I, they give you like i think it's more well alcohol so right you, you have want, to like, pay a, to get you know, the good nicer liquor which is fine with me i don't want a headache like a free headache is useless to yes me. right <laughs> so getting to that so <laughs> To go into these Amex lounges, you have to have like a platinum or a black card, right? So, and if you have a platinum card, it's all free. Or you have to pay, I think it's like 40 bucks a person to get in. So we're in there. I go up to the bar and I'm like, I'm going to get myself a drink. And I'm like, well, what kind of champagne do you have? They're like, oh, we have like all this sparkling wine. I'm like, well, I see a bottle of Vouve right there. And they're like, well, do you have a black card? And I'm like, no, I don't have a black card. They're like, well, then we can't sell you any. We can't get you a glass. And I'm like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I am not. Let me tell you, a black card is like 15000 just to get the card, the initiation fee. And then it's 10000 a year. I'm like, that bottle of Vuv is not worth $25,000. No, it costs $44 at <laughs> the grocery store and they can't sell you a glass of it. I mean, I understand if they're not going to give it to you for free, but they won't even sell you a glass. That's ridiculous. Mm -mm. Like, yeah, that's weird. And I almost threw a crystal fit, like right there at the bar. Like, I'm like, I cannot believe I'm like, this is America. I'm like, I am trying to like give you money in exchange right. for a glass of champagne. And then she's like, well, we have this, we have other champagne. I'm like, no, you're, you have sparkling wine. That's not champagne. And Annabelle, you would know this, right? I'm like, okay, I get it. If it's like Dom, right? Like if it's a good quality yeah. champagne, but I'm like, Voob's like, it's, it's oh, perfect. Okay. It's good. It's that's not like a right. black it's card. Good. It's perfectly champagne. fine, but it's not. Again, you can buy it at the grocery store for forty to fifty dollars, and I'm not yes. knocking it. It tastes good, but don't act like that's some exclusive thing that you can't sell to people. Why? Why do you not? Do you not want to make money? I mean, they're selling other things, so it's not like there's no transactions allowed. Why would you not just sell the? I mean, are they think they're going to run out? I don't know. I just, if you run out, then you just go to the store and buy some more. Well, from the airport, you can't really do that. Costco and get it. But they should definitely have <laughs> a champagne option that you can drink just because you don't have the status credit card. Right. So right. maybe they're like, trying to keep it like spit, like exclusivity. Right. Some You're not good enough to have this one and be like, it. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take a gin, I'll take a gin and tonic. Yeah. Thing, I don't know. I want to see a crystal fit. <laughs> you saw it at the bar one time. Oh, I did. She wasn't, it wasn't like you were rude. You, I mean, you were a little rude, but mostly it was rude because I knew the guy. But uh, well, it's not like you're being a huge bitch or something. You're just like, I don't want, want this. Can I have this? I'll pay. That is an, a very American yeah. way of thinking, and it should work everywhere. Right? It's capitalism. Yep, great. I'm going to give you money <laughs> yeah. in exchange for something. So how was it seeing yourself on a billboard in Times Square? Oh, that was a little bit embarrassing. 
That was, I mean, to be honest with you, because we, there was a photographer there and she was like, okay, well, can you pose? And I'm like, I don't know how to pose. I'm like, do you understand? Even though I take pictures, I'm like. You did cute. You're like, like, no, you wanted Tris for this if you want someone posing. I know. (laughs) I'm like, can we bring her here and she can show me like what to do and how to do this? I'm like, because I don't. No, I'm like, I can right. point at it. That's a real, I, I can do that. I can hold a coffee cup. But I'm like, mm. if you're asking me to stay, stand a certain way, and I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Well, so were they happy with the pictures or were they like, oh, she sucks? <laughs> yeah, probably they're just like average mom. Like I right. said, I was a normal yeah, mom. What do right. you want? I'm not a model. I'm just a mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so the build bulletin board was for um, a company called Carrot. So I just really want to plug them for a second because they are, an, it's an amazing company. I don't know if you guys know about this, but they, the guy who um, runs it is a Harvard MBA. He comes from McKinsey and I think he was probably in financing. And then he basically saw there's a need in the creator economy for like creators that cannot get the traditional type of banking, they can't get credit card services. So he actually has a way to basically offer these services to uh, people who are like Twitchers, uh, YouTubers, TikTokers, any type of person who's on the internet that makes an income from that. So, well, so tradi- traditional banking does not like the creator economy. We we could do a whole podcast right. on, on the time that USAA closed all my bank accounts um, and left me with no money for a minute. Um, I feel like that was like meta low key though, <laughs> or can I say that? You can say yeah, it. yeah. I mean, I, mean, I feel like they had a hand. They don't in own that. a Google, <laughs> right? The yeah. my USAA closed all my banking without warning illegally. So I'm actually there's a whole legal process happening with that. So I actually probably shouldn't talk about that um, in much detail, but. Um, yeah, banks aren't allowed to close your accounts with no warning and then not give you your money. <laughs> that's a, right. that's against the law. So that was a whole thing that happened. It took months to sort it, and even now I'm still dealing with it. What was that like? A year and a half ago? It was, it like, was a not year ago in December. Last Christmas. Yeah, it was a year ago in yeah. December. So it's been a yeah. long time. Yeah, and I think a lot so of so then we oh sorry then oh we oh, go ahead. <laughs> that's when we learned just how much bank traditional banks do not like creators. Well, I think there's a few things there. I think number one, it's um, you, a lot of the banking is run by old white men that don't understand technology and they don't understand. They think that this whole creator like economy is just, they don't, they don't, they can't wrap their heads around it. Right. But right. I'm like, it's still cash. It's green cash coming right. into your bank. And right. you know, they like, think this is illegal. No, it isn't. It's literally no. money being paid to you to a bank. This is not yes. like under the table cash. This is money that is taxed and reported to the IRS. And that's, what's so crazy. It's like, they think it's not stable, but for someone like us, for example, now, our, my income has definitely fluctuated, but it's been a consistently high amount for almost four years now. So it's like, clearly, this is this is consistent, you know? Well, it is. And I also think that when they think it's, at a, it's more like high risky to be a creator on the internet, my question to them, I would ask them is like, hey, well, isn't everybody at a risk of losing their job at some point? There is no guarantees Mm -hmm. in life with anything. You can work for Google, Intel, anybody. And when they all of a sudden their stock prices go down because they didn't hit their stock prices from Wall Street, people get laid off all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's not- And a lot of us became creators because we lost our jobs due to COVID. So I had a regular job. I was not a creator before and I would have never become a creator if it hadn't been for like the necessity of it at the time. Yeah, I don't really understand what the risk just for a bank holding on to your money because they don't like what you do or they think it's like not sustainable, right. whatever the ideas they have about it. What does it matter if it's not like you're getting a loan per se or right. that, like that? I maybe understand if they're like asking more questions or they want to see the consistency of it. But just banking in general, I don't understand why they have. No, it's, it's weird because I wasn't problem. asking for a loan from them at all. I mean, I'm yeah. making them money. So it, you know, it, exactly. it, it was, that was nonsensical what happened to me. Well, they yeah. don't understand that. They don't understand it, right? They just do not understand the that part of the economy. And it's so new that they just don't, they can't wrap their heads around. How is it that a YouTuber is making millions of dollars off of brand deals? I mean, right now, according to Goldman Sachs, the creator economy is worth $250 billion. It's going to double in the next three years of, to 500 billion. So right now in the United States, there's 17 I've done all the math, 17 million people that make over $50,000 
a year just on that. And 14 wow. million that make over a hundred thousand dollars on this whole economy. And it's very much underserved. And that's the great thing right. about Kara is that um, the guy who owns it, who started this company or the guys that started this company, they thought there was a need in the market. And to me, I'm like, right. that is genius because like no one's, it's an underserved market just in yep. general. It is. So. I mean, it makes sense to create companies to fill that. And I don't know. I mean, I can understand how it's a risk may seem like a riskier venture venture, but at the same time, I don't think, I think there's, there's going to be definitely downturns and like some types of influencers income, but overall the creator economy is not going away. No, it's not going away right. because more and more money is getting is getting funneled to that um, economy. If you look at like uh, traditional like TV, all your linear television, all right. that ad revenue is going to yeah. the YouTubes and the yep. TikToks and to the creators because that's right. where all the eyeballs are going. Majority exactly. people watch more YouTube than they on the TV screen, and they actually watch like Netflix and you know a, whatever a Discovery show is. So <laughs> Gold <laughs> Rush. Whatever. Regular yes. TV. <laughs> Regular TV. Yeah. I mean, linear TV is dying. They're going to be like newspapers. Bye-bye. <laughs> and they know it. So, um, yeah, they got to they gotta come up with more, you know, banking needs to like, you know, turn around. <laughs> yeah, right. It really does. So, yeah. So, Shout out to Carrot. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Carrot. So another funny thing I have to tell you that happened was, so we get in, we fly into New York on Saturday. Uh, we're staying at this hotel, like down in Times Square, which was a total shit show. I will never go down there ever Ooh, again. That's horrible. <laughs> but I, I didn't, I didn't really know like what to do, like how far away we're gonna have to walk to this billboard and where it was. Um, so we're having a uh, restaurant, we're having, yeah, we're having a restaurant, we're having food at this restaurant. <laughs> And these kids, I want to say kids, but they're all college kids because they were ordering alcohol, like they're ordering beer. And they sat down next to us. There was like five of them. And they had a they had a camera and they were like, I could hear them. I'm like, these are like YouTubers. Like these are all YouTube kids. Um, they're somewhere like in the creator economy and they're talking about brand deals and everything. So one of the kids had a shirt that said MILF magnet. <laughs> <laughs> So we started talking to him and I'm like, I have got to take a picture with that. Funny you have that on your shirt because I am like the queen of MILFs. So I'm like, have you heard of MILF Estates? Hello. Right. What did they have to say? Were, had any of them ever seen you? Or were they like, what the? Um, well, it was funny because the one um, the one guy that had the MILF magnet on, he was like, oh, I have to follow you. And then he's like, oh, my God. He's like my really good friend follows you. What the heck? So he calls his friend on the phone and FaceTimes him. And I... That's so funny. Hey, yeah. I saw you follow Miss Poindexter. He's probably like, what? Why are you stalking me on social media? Yeah. So that was like, that was kind of That's embarrassing. Funny. <laughs> so yeah, those are kind of like the tidbits that happened. Oh, but also I, what I love about New York, you can buy Dom by the glass. In bars. <laughs> oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Some bars, that's true. Some I mean, bars. I love New York for the food and stuff, but I, I am not going anywhere near Times Square. Unless... I've never been to New York. I oh, we should go on a trip to New York. Mm -hmm. I love New York. Yes. And I took, I went one time we were there. My sister in law lives in New York, and so one time we went to the M and M store. Like I took the kids to Times Square because they really wanted to go, and that was the one time I think I'll ever have to. I don't think I should have to go again. I mean, I had been when I was younger, but not in a really long time. Yeah. It's it's like Fisherman's Wharf. Except Francisco. just absolute <laughs> hell on earth. It's so yeah. much overstimulation and so many people and you just can't get, you can't even walk around. It's crazy. No, it's, it's pretty bad. It's I imagine crazy. it's like downtown LA. I've only been there once and I was like, wow, this is absolutely no pole. <laughs> well, L no, downtown LA is just a shithole, but yeah, it New was York bad. is packed. So it also is a shithole in places, especially if you're walking yeah. at night. Cause you know, all the trash is on the street at night. Um, um, cause that's what you do. You just put your trash yeah. out on the street, out in front of your building, oh, um, like restaurants, yeah, whatever. There's just trash everywhere. So. Yeah, that was new to me. I mean, some of the things I'm like, oh, this is this is very interesting, very yeah. interesting. So yeah, we'll have to have a trip to New York. You know, yeah, I, um, love, I love New York. Yeah, the food was pretty good. I do have to say that. Love the food and the drinks. So 
I'd go back for that. Uh, <laughs> speaking of food, Tris, what do we got? Yeah, for this I thought week? you'd never ask. <laughs> She's like, I'm <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Hello. I am hungry too, no so I want to see. <laughs> no. Next time I'm going to do, maybe we talked about a, a cold sweet treat. I'm going to do something different. But do today, it for our so, live next week. Do it for our live next week. Yes, I'll do it for the live. Um, that's right. We do have a live next week. Oh, um, yeah. What, what's this live that we're going to do, yeah. Annabelle? Oh, I was going to have Chris say it. We're going to do a okay. live podcast, like a live stream on Friday, March, what's the day? 8th? 8th. Yes. Friday, March 8th at 6 yes. p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll post reminders throughout the week next week on all of our socials, but we are going to do a live. I don't know if you're into yeah. that or not, but if you are, Chris is going to have, hopefully, snacks. Lots of snacks. <laughs> It was my snack suggestion, and I really want it so bad, but I can't eat it. It was. I looked this up, and I was like, oh, shh. The serving was like 12 <laughs> scoops of this, and I was like, who are you feeding? But, I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not mad about it. But yeah. I mean, I, I, like, is yes. it like, okay, I can't wait. I mean, I have so many yeah. questions about this. Um, so, so mm-hmm. you know, I got in my new house, and I had to go get groceries, and I went without eating which is a bad idea. And so I grabbed all kind of sweets and I grabbed a whole six pack of the, the big cup Reese's peanut butter cups. The big cups though. I like the other ones, but, and I don't really remember if I've done this before, but I put mine in the fridge. Do you guys eat yours cold or you just eat them? like? No, I don't like it like that, but I know a lot of people that do. I, I buy the thin cold. ones and put them in the freezer. Ooh, and they're then too when hard the, then. Like, no, I like when the, the soft no. peanut butter in the middle. No, when the kids do um, s'mores, they use those. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, I've definitely stolen some of those out of your Ooh. freezer. Um, Ooh, but then I have to let them come idea. to room temperature to eat them. <laughs> yeah. No, because I think when you put them in the – I don't know. I guess maybe I used to put them in the freezer. But when you put them in the fridge, they cold enough. they get cold enough to have, like, a little bit of a – crunch kind of i guess but there's not like too hard to bite into yeah so yeah i don't know but so is that be crunchy peanut butter inside that one or is it smooth peanut butter Uh -uh. be so good with my coffee right now Mm. yeah i'm really i mean this is the last one i've eaten all six of them now (laughs) watch out some old old guy on the internet's gonna tell you you better stop eating snacks See, Tris, this is why I can't buy, like, a pack of anything, because I will eat all of it, like, and I have no self-control, so that's why I try not to buy anything that I really want to eat. (laughs) I've toyed with the idea for years of, like, having a lock on my pantry, like, to protect me from myself, but I feel like if people see that in a parent's home, they would think you're, like, abusing your kids or something. (laughs) No, I just can't stop snacking. I'm a snacky bitch. (laughs) Just, like, snacking. Mm. Well, that's why I threw that that bag of peanut M&Ms away, right? Because I was yeah. like, I can't stop eating them. I'm like, it's you really You threw bad. it away? I yeah. told you, yeah. I kept and then on you dump coffee them. grounds on top so you can't eat, eat it out of the trash. <laughs> like George Costanza or Mr. Poindexter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, and that goes to our fan question, too, so we can snack <laughs> into and talk about that. Uh, one of our fans wants to know, how do you like your coffee, Tris? How do you like your coffee? You know what? I... I like honey in my coffee. After I had a surgery back in 2020, my friend was very like, everything's natural and stuff. And she was making me coffee and putting oat milk and honey in it. And I'd never done that before. So that's like, I'm obsessed with it. That's how I fix my nail. So I didn't know that when, okay, when you're here next time, I'll make sure I'll have some oat, oat milk and honey for you. you well, you have yeah, the I mean, creamer that we all use. Yeah. Like I switch it, you know, if all people have a sugar, obviously- like if I go to, I but call it crappy honey coffee, house like before. Waffle House, you know, yeah, like I've used the honey over there, but you know, I'll still use sugar and stuff. I just know that it's not as healthy for me as like just having honey in there. Over I, the that, that, that's funny. <laughs> Talk about honey because it's I'm healthy, trying to but be as healthy. I'm putting, as I'm eating my like Reese's peanut it's butter It's called cup. balance. Okay. <laughs> you have to have balance in life. Well, honey no, does have you. some sort of like benefits to it. I think yeah. maybe. I, like, I agree. More than sugar has zero benefits, right? Honey at least right. can be like soothing to your throat. Or I think if you have like the local ones, they help with allergies, people mm-hmm. say. I don't know. I tried mm-hmm. it. It didn't work. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Balance. No, I, I'm just I'm just giving you a bad time. I, <laughs> I am all about balance. <laughs> I worked out two days in a row and I was like dying. I was so tired yesterday. I took a nap in the middle of the day and I never do that. So Dang. Two workouts Jeez. and then a walk, like a two and a half mile walk with my dogs. So That's really good. I'm I tired. joined a gym. 
<laughs> you did? You did? What? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so Only because of this. That. Let me tell you. My middle child is going to wrestle. And so he's wrestling now like three days a week, Monday, Wednesday. Oh, Sunday I'm mornings. so glad he's going back. Yes. Aww. And so he's at, at this gym wrestling. And I'm like, well, if I have to take you and sit there yeah. for an hour, I don't want to, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. The gym, I love it because it's where they do a bunch of MMA and wrestling. And it smells like <laughs> so much testosterone. It's like, it's, oh I God. love it. I mean, just love, no. you can just smell it in the air and it's just like, <laughs> No, I agree. So you with like the right really now. stinky gym? Fun? It's not mm-hmm. stinky. It's not stinky. It's just you, you lie. Can just... You lie. It is no, stinky. no. Way I will take. Not no, it's not. <laughs> so, anyways, I um, <laughs> and what I love about this gym is like on the wall it says like Team Alpha, and then sometimes it says like Male Team Alpha Male, and I was like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a gym for it sounds so like a gym for funny. big douchebags. Honestly, it's not. It's mm-hmm. it's a lot of like where MMA is and like um, fighters like go. Yeah, that's what like, I said. That's so funny. I mean, I that's exactly what I'm saying. All I know is that they do a lot of like martial arts and uh, wrestling there. And hey, you know, if that's what my child wants to do, then I will. No, I think 100%. it's great for him. I think and I'll really walk on a treadmill. Good for him. I was like, I was going to yeah. say, what are you going to do? Not because you're so like, you have tons of muscle, like you're just super toned, but I'll just walk. you just never just going to because she doesn't like lifting weights because <laughs> she woke up too much. Yeah. I'll just walk. I tend to yeah, do I have uh, to lift weights. when when I'm doing the driving for the sports that aren't near my house, like water polo is never near my house. So mm-hmm. if it's nice out, I always walk or do something. And when it's not nice, I just sit in the car and work basically. Um, you know, because it's like too, it's so much driving. I'm not going to drive home, you yeah. know? Yeah. Or you take a nap, take a nap in the car. <laughs> I can't, that nap, works though. out too. Especially yeah. if I try to take a nap at 7 30 PM, I'm Go, I'm just going to bed. I'm not. No. Yeah. No. I'm not getting up to drive kids home and all that. You know. Yeah. So Annabelle, what what do you like? How do you like your coffee? I like my coffee black. Me too. Dark and bitter, <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> I was gonna say something That's, else, but yeah. I well, yeah, that is implied. That's a given. I went with the safer work version, um, but sometimes I got an espresso <laughs> machine, so and it came with a nice milk frother. So like right now, I'm drinking a latte. It's just espresso Ooh. and oat milk, no like sweetener or anything. But it is yummy. I still have a little bit of foam on there too. Ooh, that sounds that sounds. Yummy. Espresso that sounds would be good. nice. I need one of those little. You need a machine machines. in your new house. Yeah. Ooh, maybe yeah. that's a good housewarming oh. present for you. Ooh. I'm okay Ooh, with Annabelle, that. Annabelle, we need to talk about that. <laughs> that's a good idea because we have another. I we have another idea. But. Yeah, but hey, maybe yeah. Just let us know what you know. We'll, we'll talk offline about yeah. that. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, our irrational mom topic we need to get. Wait, to. Wait, what, what about your coffee? You didn't even. Oh, say. I said black too. When you're like, I like oh. it black. I said me too. I <laughs> okay. like my. Um, I if I am doing like my morning fasting, I will do black. If I on the weekend, I will do put creamer in there, like a coconut almond milk kind of. Yeah, creamer, it's like but, the the. Yeah. It's not sweetened though. It's just. A little bit, a little yeah. bit of a creamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, just you know, plain, just plain. I like um, Dutch Bros has a nitro cold brew, which is my favorite. Mm. Oh my god, it's so yummy! It's so smooth too. Like they have the best nitro <laughs> cold brew. I can only drink cold coffee when it's like 115 now. Like even if it's 85 degrees, I want hot coffee. It's got to be really hot, or me having like a serious sustained hot flash to want to drink cold coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. But like, I was driving carpool this morning, and I'm drinking my coffee, and I was having a hot flash, and I was pouring sweat. But I was like, I, I need this coffee so bad, I'm just gonna have to keep drinking it. <laughs> it just made me sweat even more. I was like, gross. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's okay. Hope you took a shower before you got on online. Well, I mean, I did, but nobody would know. It's not like anybody can smell me. <laughs> but I did because I have to go to work, and I'm not gonna like. I mean, that's what I hate is like, I, and I have night sweats all the time. So it's like, you have to take a couple showers a day because I can't just like sweat that much and just exist. Just, <laughs> Hopefully you, know? you just take extra deodorant with you. Well, I have extra deodorant, yeah. but it just feels nasty. Yeah. You know I what I mean? That. It's true. Sometimes Stink in the night I'll take, deodorant. I have to rinse off. Like I have to rip all my clothes off, rinse off, then lay back down with a fan on me. And like not really dry <laughs> off, just like be cold. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> I thought I was done with hot flashes. I was like way better for maybe like eight or nine months. And now they're just back all the time. 
damn i'm sorry <laughs> good times it's it, it mm. is really horrible being a woman is rad it's, <laughs> it's hard it's hard all right go into our irrational mom topic but i think we should also do with men too because this comes from our producer matt he was the one that actually suggested yep. this because he was sitting on the airplane this is about what, rational people yes or yes. are you irrational that when you sit down next to somebody are you are you um do, are you supposed to talk to them and is it okay to be like i don't want to talk to you you know kind of when you were when you sent this text matt i was thinking about when you go to get your teeth cleaned at the dentist and the dental hygienist always wants to freaking talk to you with your mouth open and i like- hate that i'm like why are you trying right. to have a conversation with me when i clearly can't talk to you right. I'm like, it's so freaking rude. I mean, do you really think I want to talk to you when my mouth's like open? I can't even Mm -mm. respond back. You just want to hear yourself talk. No, I take that's like a whole, that's a whole extra though, because like the same thing, like I got some massages like the week before last and I was like, please don't let these people want to talk to me. Like, I just want to be quiet and just enjoy the massage. But I have had people try to talk during that and I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. It's so uncomfortable because you're like, I don't want to tell you to shut the F up, but I really want you to shut the F up. And you're like, if I say something, then are you going to be mad and give me a bad massage? Like, I don't know. I mean, a good person will just let the client dictate what's going to be taught, like if they want to talk or not. Yeah. But to me, it is completely irrational to assume anyone out in the world wants to speak with you or interact with you at all. It is irrational. (laughs) Yeah. I think it's safe to say planes are the worst, which I know is the question at hand, but I definitely, because you're stuck there with that person for likely an hour and a half to, you know, three or four hours, just your average flight. Yep. That's why you got to go onto the plane already with two AirPods. Yeah. Even if you and a don't, book. and a book, even if you <laughs> don't have book. the music playing, cause you know, sometimes you actually need to hear what's going on. You got to yeah. already be prepared. Like I'm always prepared when I leave the house, what can I do? And this, I don't have to think about anymore. Cause it's been years of training. What do I do to make sure no one wants to speak with me when I'm out and about? <laughs> like, how can I most Put effectively your ensure bitch face on too? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> look like you're in a hurry and you're in a bad mood and that almost always which that's just how my rbf looks anyway but that's like a good way <laughs> to deter people and on a plane if you already have your your headphones in and you're already looking at something and then they talk to you you just don't acknowledge don't worry about being polite i mean because they're not being polite by speaking to you like the only time you should talk to somebody is if you're like oh excuse me can i get out and go to the bathroom that's it there's no other reason to talk to a stranger, period. Especially in the other thing, bathrooms are another one. They're not as bad as planes because you can just walk out. But like, why are we looking at making eye contact with strangers in a public bathroom? Why are we doing that? No. This, this don't try to talk true. to me. Don't smile. I don't need to smile at you when I'm going to the bathroom. I'm literally walking in, looking at the floor so no one tries to interact with me. But you know, I'm always like... I feel like you're I'm smiling, always smiling. You're nice, but you're part. a nice person. And, but it often <laughs> makes people feel like I'm inviting them to come right. chat. So I, right. instead of not smiling, I try to just not make eye contact. Because if I smile and make right. eye contact, people take it as like, exactly. Oh, talk. Right. So you see, I try to be a repellent, just how I look in general to repel people. <laughs> well, you could always like when they talk to you, just be like, mm-hmm. all right. And then really just not responding. Be a little bit rude. Just slowly back away. <laughs> just pretend it's not happening. Just be like, I'm over here playing Tetris on the phone. And I'm listening to hip hop really loud. I can't hear you. Well, I was lucky on my flight back from Dallas because we had a layover again there and then back. Um, Mr. Poindexter and I didn't sit next to each other. Um, and I was next to a lady and I was like, oh, God. God, please. I hope she does not want to talk to me. And she pulled her book out. And I pulled yes. my book out. And I'm like... This is great. Yeah. This is awesome. I Perfect. mean, I had my earbuds in. I was like, mm. we're, we're out. I mean, even yeah. when we were flying there, I'm like, I'm not talking to my husband. I'm like, I'm going to be doing my own thing. on the <laughs> You live with him. You don't need to talk to him even more. <laughs> I'm like, mm. plus it's like, it's loud on a plane. And yeah. I just don't want to have a conversation with, I, I, I'm with you no. guys. I don't want to have a conversation with some random person. Um, unless they're really cute. Oh, <laughs> Wait, I don't think I've ever told Tris this story. I know I've told you. So one time this was, I was single at this time and I was, was when my brother was sick and I was flying back and forth to Georgia, like, I don't know, on Mm -hmm. every other weekend or something. Um, I was on, and I would be on a red eye often. 
I was on a flight and I was really upset. Like I was not in a good headspace. I don't remember exactly when this was, but it was when his illness was pretty advanced. And I sit down and I think I had like taken a Xanax or something because I was like unwell. (laughs) Um, I mean, to be, I don't, before everybody comes at me, I'm not abusing drugs. My brother was very sick. So (laughs) (laughs) I was very anxious. Um, But so this guy I had seen in the airport that was so good looking. I mean, he was so handsome. And then I forgot about him, whatever. So I get on the plane and I'm in the aisle seat and it turns out he's in the middle seat. And I'm like, no way. Like, (laughs) no way. Because he was so cute. And he was like the right age for me, whatever. And so I'm thinking like, because I hate talking to people and I'm really awkward, but I'm like, how can I talk to him? What should I do to start the conversation? Well, so then the flight attendant comes to ask for drink orders and I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is like the time. So I order my, you know, very normal adult gin and tonic, right? This guy says, can I have a rum with light ice? And I was like, the fuck did he just say? <laughs> what? Surely I'm not hearing this right. I you can know. totally see this too. <laughs> and I'm so fascinated at this point because I'm like, no, he didn't really say that. There's no way. So she brings, she gets out the, you know, in the of all the alcohols to drink on a plane, rum might be the worst one because you know it's not nice rum. And who's drinking <laughs> rum by itself anyway if it's not like some really fancy, like nice aged Jamaican rum or something? So she pours his rum on ice and he says, oh, that's too much ice. And I was like, just take the ice out. You want semi-warm airplane rum? I was so like (laughs) aghast that I could not say a single word. I just sat there in shock. And I was like, never mind. I don't want to talk to him. You were just disgusted by his I was so grossed out. And then he tried to talk to me and I was not having it. This is like so interesting. So I wonder, I mean, I would be like, I mean, I, the things I want to say are not pro- appropriate right now. <laughs> <Yes>. That <laughs> never happens to me. I never have like, somebody cute come up to me or sit by the sit by me on the plane or anything. It's always weird. Keep me neither. I have never had that. But I would just think it's like, what kind of like manly drink is that? I'm like, where? I mean, at, at least if you have rum and coke, I can see that going on with maybe some light ice because maybe you don't want your coke like really like cold. Right. You want it kind of, but yeah. I mean, I don't know about that. I just think it's ugh, no. Yeah. I thought she was gonna say he wanted he was gonna order like a wine cooler or something. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the way to just turn Annabelle off instantly is to either order your steak medium well or get some cheap ass alcohol <laughs> that's warm. Right? Or um, I did have, um, it was sparkling wine out of the can on the plane. And it was actually really good. And I was like. Were you on American? No I was on American, yeah. I mean, some of the, air, like, a lot of them will have a de- decent alcohol as their, uh-huh. like, airplane drink. But this was, like, the, what's that rum in the white? Malibu or something? It was, like, Malibu. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think God. he may have actually said Malibu on ice. I think maybe he didn't say rum. I think he said Malibu oh on ice. I was so God. disgusted. How old was well, this person? Was he was that. an ad- like, my age-ish. <laughs> like, normal-seeming adult. Super handsome. Like, businessman traveling. I'm like, I could never have sex with you because of your drink order. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a normal drink order. I no, absolutely no. not. You know my favorite thing about flying in American was in first class. Favorite thing, what? hands down, the cookies. Wait, that's Delta. No, that's no. United. They have little biscoff yeah. Delta cookies. has the biscoff or whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I love so, this. So um, American has warm nuts. I- <laughs> <laughs> they give you a little <laughs> what? They give you a little platter of like nuts that are warm, and they are yes. so good. Like, they have so do they just the- keep them in a bag down their pants to keep the nuts warm, or like, what are they doing? That's I don't know. <laughs> that's a good conversation starter. See, had you had that opportunity, could I? Please right? get some additional warm nuts. Thank right. You. Well, I was, first of all, I wasn't in first class. Can you class. pass me your warm nuts? <laughs> I was not in first class at this time because this was before I had internet money. This was when I was a regular pastry chef making a paltry peasant salary. Pastry <laughs> chef money. So I was in coach back then. So, you know. Well, <laughs> um, I was just like, oh my God. I'm like, this is like the best thing ever. Hand me some. 
some more warm nuts. <laughs> I've never flown first class. It doesn't look as fancy to me, but maybe I just, it's just don't the know. room. I don't For me, know. it's just the, I need room. I'm so uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And the only no, time I'm I can like sleep five foot longer. Right, you're tiny. You can fit I, anywhere. You can fit in my pocket. Like we, you and I can sit in a first class seat on Delta together. Yeah. I think it's because you can just relax more and it's bigger yeah. and you can like you yeah, can, you know, sit Indian style in the chair and just right. yeah. Well, if I'm going across the country, True. I have to sit in first class. I can't sit yeah. on a plane for five yeah. hours. Well, I would if I was flying like th- that far away. I probably I would do first class. Yeah. So when speaking I, of warm nuts, can we talk about what? these MLB players oh. and their uniforms? It's like, what is she branching off to right now? Dude, mm. somehow, I don't exactly know how the process works, but somehow, so Fanatics and Nike are responsible for the uniforms now. Somehow these, like, what, multi-multi-billion dollar companies have produced the absolute cheapest, shittiest looking uniforms that have ever existed for any sport. They look like like a practice jersey for a high school team. They're like that really thin material. Like almost like it would be great to wear that for a workout, but in a game, they're, they look terrible. The the numbers and stuff, everything, it looks like someone ironed on the numbers at home. Like they're falling off, they're creased, like everything about them is bad. But to me, the best part is that the pants are see-through. Like you can literally see dudes junk fully through the pants. Um, There's some pictures. I need to see this. I don't know which... Matt, I don't have to throw show, some pictures. Up. I don't know who was the Padres player that was bending over, and it was the he was like yeah. tying a shoe or something. It was like the view <laughs> from the back, and it was just full on. Dressed. And I was like, "It was whoa." That's why I'm saying I might become a a baseball like uh-huh. fan pretty soon. You can see like the shirt. The shirts are tucked in the pants. You can fully see through to the shirt. Um, I mean, it's astonishing that and all the players have been complaining right so it's like and they're like oh yeah we're working through the issues with the pants it's like these are garbage quality i already told my kids like no we're not buying any of these jerseys this year like they're gonna have to come out with something better like the ones they're selling and they're expensive like super expensive for it and i think they were the same ones they used at the all-star game if i'm not mistaken that look like pajamas like they do not look like a professional uniform. You know, they probably bought them on Timu. <laughs> oh god! Right, right. They cost like fifty cents to produce. Um, right. I mean, it'd be interesting to see. Like, oh, look at that! Oh, Somebody, yes. yeah, you can. Someone, yes. Someone Does said that... about that one. I saw a comment. It was like the counts two balls in one strike. Is that, <laughs> is that his coin purse he's holding in right. there? You're not supposed to. See, I told you, Tristan. Yeah. So, um, Annabelle, Tristan, I will be coming down to a game soon. <laughs> yeah, I actually need right. to talk to you. We need to talk about um, figuring out when we want to go way in advance because everything's going to be sold out if we want to get the boxes for the games that we're going to go to together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's talk about that. Let's, yeah. let's figure that out. We can't just sit with the, the regular people. It's too uncomfortable. I need maximum comfort all the time. Like, that's because- really the only thing that I can- like about – like having extra money is just that I can be physically comfortable. Like to right. me, that is the biggest luxury. And I know that that may seem crazy to some people, but God, just being able to like move my legs and not be cramped is just amazing. I'm so sounds thankful a little, for that. Sounds a little bougie, <laughs> right. but that's okay. Right? Cool. It, it, it totally cool. is. Like can we, we bring start... back the commenter laugh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. The, I can't be down there with the peasants. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there, there you go, Poindexter. Do your uh, peasant laugh. <laughs> it's kind of like a Kardashian laugh, too. Oh, my God. Like fake and sarcastic sounding. <laughs> I love it. So I'm curious, like, where are these uniforms made? They're clearly not made in the United States. They're probably made overseas in some probably factory. Probably one of their factory, like a Nike factory in Vietnam or something, maybe? I maybe. Think they have- it's, I think Vietnam's actually not as bad as, like, China. Like when it I don't know. Clothing. I just know that uh, when I like stuff is made in factories in Asia because you can see it on the tags. Like, I don't mean mm-hmm. that in any way to be about, you know, I'm not trying to be ugly about people in Asia making stuff, just to be clear. That's just where it comes no, from. No, I'm just, I think that the quality is better. Like, in, I was going to say the quality is better in Vietnam than it is in China. But when you're Nike and Fanatics, like, how are you putting out a product that's right. that terrible? That's what I can't understand because Like, it's how many so people did obvious. that have to get through like, right, to right. pass through that well, somebody kinda, didn't say? Was, right. I'm this just is curious, garbage. Like, I'm curious, too. Are these men not wearing, like, <clears throat> tight underwear 
I mean, why are we seeing everything like shitting like their underwear? Why are you like, flopping around? Up? Like, and not everybody, everybody, not everybody wants to wear like sliding shorts <laughs> under their pants. I guess. Well, aren't they supposed to be wearing like a cuff straps? Uh, yeah, I, like a. I don't think all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. I, I mean, don't like, either. But I think someone's talked about. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look how you can see through that right there. You can see yeah, the whole shirt like, tucked in. That yeah, does look like, like pajamas. See, you know, they're probably doing this because they, it's a publicity thing. They want people to like talk about more of the MLB. Maybe they want more women to watch. I mean, uh, hello. Maybe. I mean, that. I've definitely. <laughs> it reminds me of when when I started dating my ex husband. He was in med school and he was in a res certain. Um, I'm sorry, a rotation where he was in a hospital wearing scrubs every day, and he didn't wear underwear. And I remember seeing him go to work one day. I was like dude, you, you can see your whole junk. He's just like, whatever. And I was like, yeah, you some care? of those scrubs like, are gonna... thin. Yep. You could see yeah. everything. He was like, <laughs> he didn't care. He wasn't doing it on purpose. He just literally didn't care. He does. I will say, I will uh, second that. He really does <laughs> right. not care. Right. <laughs> he can't be That bothered. man will walk shoeless through like, you know, <laughs> through the airport his, if he he'll could. He'll fly his airplane with board shorts and no shoes. I mean... Yes. Fine. <laughs> He's shown up in my house multiple times with no shoes and scrubs. And no shoes for like the whole weekend. Not oh, yeah. just like, huh? I don't have any on right now. I don't have any with me, period. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it's my so slippers. Weird. Let me go get my slippers out yeah. and wear those. <laughs> yep. It's very. I'm like, is that flying material? Like, you're I guess appropriate. You can, if it's your own plane, you can wear whatever you want, I guess. But I feel like shoes, it just seems weird. I mean, I definitely drive without shoes sometimes, but. I mean, I usually wear shoes to the car. I just slip them off to drive. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's he's a character in himself. Yep. <laughs> so I guess we'll see if they actually change the uniforms because, you know, cheap cheap clothes just don't fit nicely either. I mean, seeing some of those dudes in those tight baseball pants, that's nice. I mean, I was already <laughs> watching that. When they're like see-through and loose, it's not the same look. No, you know? it's not. Yeah. I mean – that's one thing I do like about watching football, though, too. I'm like, damn, look at that. Look at those legs running. <laughs> <laughs> the tight pants on. That's true. <laughs> hey, men like leggings, too, on women. So what do you guys That's true. And I mean, it's that's just- all I wear is leggings because mm-hmm. I work in a kitchen. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, until, uh, you know. I think that wraps up for this week and I'll uh, talk about like MLB pants and there. We all uh, need to go. Is that is all to talk about? <laughs> I gotta go. Here. She's like, excuse me, I need to go look at some more pictures. Hold on. Uh, we're just admitting that we're like men in our heads. You we know, just... women are. Women are worse than men. We're way worse. Is, uh, yeah, men don't know that. We just keep it on the down low. No. I, men, I bet a men's group chat is like so boring. Whereas we're telling like every single detail about everything. Like we're like really into it. I'll be like, tell me this detail. Because men don't care. Like, oh yeah, she's banging. But we're like, no, no every detail. <laughs> I think we're way more vulgar than men too. It's just oh, outwardly we are. we're not. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. Men just don't understand. Like women are just. Worth way. Right, we're just not like catcalling people and doing dumb shit like that. We're just, you know, (laughs) we're doing it quietly to each other. Uh, Did you see that? (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll send you the one real good picture in a second. I don't even know. Oh, I know where I know the one he's been eating over. Yeah, did you see that one? Yeah, okay. Uh, Yeah, I saw. I'm like, can we? Is that going to be marked (laughs) NSFW? (laughs) Just send it in the group so I can see because I haven't seen this. (laughs) Oh, Tris, you will love this picture. Yes. Uh It's okay. Yes. I'm excited. Oh, which excited. leads me to, before we <laughs> sign off, uh, to another side conversation that we had a couple over on Sunday night, and he is a doctor, a uh, Stanford trained doctor, teaches at Stanford, and um, he has clinics that are called Upsize. So it kind of goes along with what we're talking about, what we see when we, uh, these MLB players bend over. <laughs> so he's, is it surgery? No, it's not surgery. No, it's like uh, super size. It's just, it's just yeah, but super size. How? Oh, you can use filler. Extension filler. And they and they're extension learning they can piece. so filler to <laughs> like the filler it, people put in their faces? Yeah, yeah. You make it bigger on the round you know, around the girth. And Girthier then you can actually do way. I think they can do like Botox <laughs> to make it like longer. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Oh. <laughs> then you have to but keep getting it done. It's I was going to say, if you right? don't no, keep some getting of it, it filled. Um, I think he said some of it can last up to five years. This no. is so 
equally fascinating and horrifying at the same time. I think I'm we intrigued might have to have him. I think we might long. need to have him on the show because I think it would be really entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> so I have, have so to many put a questions. In your thing, yeah, but they do that to women too. Like you can put like not me. Well, not me either. But I mean, you can. <laughs> I'm not having no needles <laughs> down there. No way. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I don't okay. want any needles in a sensitive area like that. Mm. But Okay, but you can put lidocaine, right? Like lidocaine, like ointment all over it. And then it's yeah. like, it numbs yeah. it all up. I, I don't know about that. I Well, it's the same thing. Like when you do laser hair removal, you lidocaine everything up and then they just laser it all off down there. Can't yeah, they they're just not Austin going inside me. Like they're pump. going like in the inside. I think if you do lidocaine and then you could probably stick it with a numbing, like shot and it numbs it all up and then you can shoot the heck out of it <laughs> i don't know oh, i'm making this up i'm not a oh doctor I, I can't imagine that would be part of their selling point. So i feel like guys would be like shoot it up absolutely like, not no 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 no, uh, no. Like, do you, does it need to be does it need to be like erect when they do it is it better if it's not i don't know i think we're gonna is it like surprise look how much length you got after i, you I think out. we need to have him on so he can tell us all about it i think it would be an, <laughs> very interesting uh, i i I actually think so too i think that there might be a lot of men that would like to hear about this however they need to understand that they probably don't need this this is probably something Bring him some for their own that, you know what that's the other thing we need to talk about because i think so many guys are like yeah all 10 inches and i'm like no you're not getting in this prize okay you shot yourself in the foot okay you should just kept that a surprise till the end and i'd be like well i guess we're gonna give it a try but I know. Know. Exactly. exactly i want to keep myself intact i am not trying to right <laughs> that's like drake right when i saw that video I was like, oh, no, no. I that was like a noodle no. flopping around, too. It was so weird. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine if it wasn't, like, flopping around? Yeah, that thing would that be, just like, tells oh, you. You ain't right. getting next to me. <laughs> you, but the, he wouldn't even have to be near you to do it. He could be standing, like, over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right we need to wrap it up so <laughs> sorry matt <laughs> so, <laughs> this is okay we have so much more to talk about so you can listen to our podcast at apple or spotify or find us at irrationalmoms.com don't forget to like subscribe and leave us a message and Tris. and we'll be back with more snacks i'm gonna get some more <laughs> peanut butter cups because yeah um, so that's one for me <laughs> me too yeah Bye. I'm on it. Oh, um, also real fast. Um, March 8th, which is a Friday, we are going to do a YouTube live. So um, come on over because I think it will be fun and we'll be answering fan questions and we'll like, it'll be very interactive with our fans. So, Bring snacks. Um, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of snacks and a cocktail. Maybe a Ooh, cocktail hour I will too. definitely yes. have some cocktails. Yeah, my bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.